All right, artists, we are gonna start our sculptural weavings. Your first job is to, with a Sharpie, write your name on the back of your square and also put your class code. Your class code is um, gonna be K and then your teacher's name, like the letter. And we'll talk about that. Then you can go ahead and flip it over. And we're gonna fill the white space with shapes using our quick sticks. And we wanna fill in the entire space. So whatever shapes you wanna use and you wanna make, we wanna make it really colorful and fill in all the white space. Once you've filled in your entire square with um, shapes and colors, you can take some of the darker quick sticks and you can add some patterns or some lines into some of these um, shapes and spaces. And you can uh, do that however, however you choose to do that. Okay, our next step, we're gonna start to make the sculpture and we're gonna start to make it 3D. Um, we talked about using recycled materials, so we're gonna use um, paper that it has typing on it, but we're gonna recycle it and reuse it for our project. You're gonna need three sheets, and what you're gonna do with each one is you wanna crumple it up And you kind of want to squish it into like this snake-like shape. You want it to be a line. You can also kind of twist it. If you notice, I'm twisting it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do that with two more. And it's okay if the paper rips a little bit. That just adds to your sculpture. Okay, now that you have three, we wanna glue them onto here and we want them to be curved. Kind of like if you think back to our line sculptures that we made at the beginning of the year, how we made a curved line that's what we want to do here so I also to help I I fold the end and I make that little foot and this I'm gonna try to do the same we're using our our glue and I'm gonna put a dot one dot on both ends and then my first arch I don't want to put it right in the middle I want to put it towards the end. So I'm going to stick it there. And you can see it's an arch. And remember, you want to press down. And this time, we want to hold it for more than 10 seconds. You might need to hold it for 15 or 20 seconds just to make sure that it stays and use all your muscles. Okay. I'm gonna lift it up so you can see. You can see my my arch. I'm gonna do that two more times and I'm gonna put one in the middle and one on the other end. 